everybody, welcome back to more Fire Emblem. Last time we defeated Ina, who turned out to be a Goldon Dragon Lagoose. That was a fight, man. I highly recommend watching that fight just for you to see how I handled it. <laughs> there was a lot of range involved. Now back to the text here. Overcoming many hardships, Ike and company finally arrive in the Dane capital of Nevassa. However, much that is making Ashna is nowhere to be found. According to intelligence reports, the king is in Crimea's capital of Melior, preparing to wage war against Gallia. Man, the music is so loud for some reason, I don't know why. In addition, at least half of the Dane army, including its most elite forces, remain unharmed and at his side. The Crimean army is again forced to march. This time, however, the battlefield will be their own homeland. Eagerly awaiting their arrival is a Dane army more powerful than anything they have faced so far. This fact, coupled with Nazir's act of betrayal, has filled Ike with apprehension and disappointment. Yet, it is then, when all hope seems faint, that unexpected good news arrive. Unexpected good news laid on me, man. Chapter 22, Solo. Can we finally do a solo mission with Brom? My, my throat is not in a good way today, I don't know why, like... In the test recording I already, like... Had a weird thing in my throat for like... Five minutes or something, it was so strange. General Ike! Sir, reinforcements have arrived from Benyon. Reinforcements? I haven't heard anything about this. Have you, Princess Olincia? No, not a word. Are you sure they're Binion troops? Yes, sir. They fly Binion's insignia. They, there can be no doubt of their fantasy. And by fantasy, I mean authenticity. And the man in command is, is one of Binion's most beloved heroes, General Selgius. There's no mistake him, sir. Allow me to meet with him first. I beg your pardon, are you General Ike? I am, and you are... I am Selgis, Earl of Cattle. I've been dispatched from Binion with a battalion to support your army. Your assistance is much appreciated, but this is very unexpected. I, I understand your surprise. For Binion's Imperial Senate, this decision was made with unusual haste. Hmm, I imagine so. It took forever just to get the soldiers I have now. Well, there's a reason behind this expedited decision. Duke Persis has returned home. Oh, do you mean Sephiran? Correct, Duke Persis is also a senior statesman of the Imperial Senate. The Duke returned from his travels and began working immediately to settle pressing affairs of state. First, he met with the Apostle and they exchanged reports on both foreign and domestic matters. Then they discussed Binion's position in retaliation to the current conflict and possible courses of action. In less than half a day they brought the entire Imperial Senate into line and sent us here to you. So you're saying the Binion has allied itself with Crimea, is that it? That's it exactly. I'm at your service, General Ike. Oh, wow. Thank you. Now then, please tell me what you would have my men do. I'm ordered to help in any way possible. Um, you've caught me off guard. I can't think of anything right now. In that case, do I have permission to make camp around the palace and rest my troops? Oh yes, please do, that's no problem. Thank you, please do not hesitate to call if you have need of us. We are at your disposal. Hmm, Binion reinforcements. That was unexpected, wasn't it? Certainly was. It seems the Apostle and Sephiran did the impossible by getting them to us. All for our little army. It's hard to believe they would go all this. Uh, they would go through all this trouble. First we take Dane's capital, and now this. Things are looking up. Hmm, you're right. Even if we don't receive help from Gallia, we still might may be able to defeat Ashnard. And that's true. It's like a dream. I have to disagree. Soren, you little shitbag. Oh look, Soren is upset again. Who knew? 
What is it this time? Man, Titania's getting sassier by the minute whenever it comes to Sorin. The Grimian army is not the crooks of Dane's defeat. This war means nothing. What does that have to do with the arrival of these reinforcements? The battalion that just arrived is greater in numbers than the one we originally received. Not only that, but all those soldiers are marching under Binion's name. Uh, so? So, if these reinforcements are responsible for defeating King Dane, what do you think will happen? That achievement, the very victory itself, will belong to the Binion Empire, not Crimea. If that happens, Crimea will be rebuilt however Binion sees fit and Princess Elinze will be a mere figurehead. And then, the deeds of an unknown mercenary company will be expertly covered up. We will receive some paltry sum of money and be swept under a rug somewhere, mark my words. Sorin, you're being so rude. Surely the Apostle of all people would never do such a thing? Well, and this General Salgius seems sincere enough to me. Come, Sorin, I've heard of situations like that which you describe, but whether this is such a case? If you're unfortunate to receive this goodwill, must we always search for such ulterior motives? Yes, we must. Have you forgotten Nazir? It's that sort of naive attitude that allowed him to remain undetected for so long. Actually true. You people don't seem to get it. We are at war. All doubts, no matter how small, must be extinguished. If they aren't, we could be well uh, we could well be ignoring something that will lead to our defeat or to our death. <laughs> or both. Let's take Soren's comments under consideration and discuss us at length. We meet in one hour. Okay, let's see the battle report. New alley, Toroneo. Heck yeah, bro. There were no deaths and no injuries. That is nice. Okay, let's see. Ah, uh, we're in chapter 22. Is there anybody we should talk to? The list says... Youth. Yep, there it is. Okay. Let's talk, youth. Oh, it's George with a J. Hey, Ike, or General Ike, wait up. Say if there's an enemy in my way. But I don't want to kill him. What do you think I should do? Is this about that stupid game again? Well, it's all your fault. You had to go and tutor Daniel, and now I've been on this losing streak. Are they playing like Warhammer or something? Tutor? You mean back when we were on board the ship? It was just one hint. Back then, if you don't remember, Daniel asked us, like, if there are three bridges, what would you do? And then we were theorizing that we put our strongest troops there, but we don't have them attack. We just have them counter so they don't get hurt so much. That was. And immediately afterward, we fought the Lagoose Pirates, the Crow Pirates. Daniel isn't like me, he's smart. I'm the one who fought up this game, but he's the one who's getting better and better. I hardly ever win anymore. But instead of playing that game, why don't you try some real combat? Stop joking around. We're happy go lucky traveling merchants. We don't know anything about fighting. Ah, uh, give me a break. It's nice you're having fun and all, but please. Can you save your stupid game for someone who's not fighting for their life day in and day out? Well, what do you expect? Everything's war, war, war. And there's no place for us. All we can do is play this game. Sorry, I'll just go lose again. Oh, for heaven's sake. Look, if there's an opponent you don't want to kill, just shove him out of the way. Then you don't have to fight him. Huh? Oh, thanks. Um, you know. We are what we are, but we'll be with you till the end. Hope we can continue to be of service, alright? Yeah, thanks. Sorry for being so irritable. That's alright. I know how much stress you've been under. Okay. That sounds like heavy foreshadowing to me. Support conversations, we don't have any, apparently. Where's Toron Neo here? You can talk to Rolf, actually. Wow, I didn't expect that. Okay. So what's some EXP? How much do we got? And who should it go to actually? Are we still in the boat from Mordecai? I think so. Oh, 320 EXP is not bad. It's 
check something here first. You are level 14 general, Torinio. Wow, that's pretty high level actually. I don't think anyone from our squad is still in the base class, right? Like everyone is at least level 1 of an expert class now. Okay then, um, Mordecai. Please take my EXP and become strong. Or become stronger, I suppose. Okay, not bad. More, please. Okay, that's everything already. Uh, skills. Are there like any skill scrolls or something we can use? We have a lot, actually. Cancel support terrain and skill bonuses make units fight on ability alone. Oh. Okay, interesting. Smite. What's ether? In certain instances, triggers both Sol and Luna consecutively. Okay, that's very interesting. Corrosion. In certain instances, causes enemies' weapon durability to drop. I wish they would tell us those instances, you know, because it makes it very hard to judge whether we should give something to somebody or not. Is there anyone who really needs an ability? Like, you only have Gamble, right? I don't know if parity is good or not, like... Can support terrain and skill bonuses. Rolf doesn't have anything. That eye doubles chance to hit and in certain instances puts enemy to sleep. What the hell is... <laughs> this sounds... Amazing. Doubles chance to hit. And in certain instances puts enemy to sleep. You know what? Get the dead eye ability, man. The waiting on the occult scroll was worth it. I think Torneo even has another one. Is there anyone else who doesn't really have an ability? You got shade. But corrosion is interesting. Maybe we, uh, you only have 25 and you only have 5 left because Luna takes 20. I thought, oh, maybe Rome can also have Corrosion. Toroneo, you have Resolve. What even is Resolve? Increases Strength, Skill and Speed whenever units HP are at half or less. I remember, okay. Smite. Yeah, it sounded like we really need to smite in the next fight, actually. Should I give you Corrosion, Toronio? Maybe I should. Let's give you Corrosion. Um... Adept? What about Mia, actually? Vantage. Mm, I don't know about that. Wait, how much does my take? Is it only 10 points? Yeah. Who could smite? Cavalry can't smite or shaw for that matter. You don't have any skill. Then I guess you take parity, right? And the support, terrain and skill bonuses. Ah, but if she's standing next to Ike, like... I'm not sure. And if you also can't smite, right? Yep. Even still has 10 more capacity. I could smite, actually. Doubles the effect of shove. You know what? Is it worth it? Yeah, I think it's worth it, actually. Let's just give him smite. Uh, outfit our troops. That's right. Anything we need. Rolf. Let's take some from the convoy here. What do you have in terms of bow? Uh, longbow, killer bow. Killer bow sounds great. High critical hit, I'll take it. Anything else? You have a killing edge. Mia. I'll take the other killing edge with you. The more the merrier in terms of killing edges, I guess. Oh yes, you are stacked, man. 
foreign, brave sword. Very difficult sword to use, but its wielder can attack twice in a single round. No matter the speed, I don't think. Yeah, no matter the speed, I think. Energy drop. Increases the user's strength. Increases the user's magic resistance. I think the talisman is something you want to use with Brom, actually. How's your resistance, Brom? 11. The defense is actually maxed out. Dude, that's crazy. Then let's make your impenetrable to magic as well here. Plus two. You love to see it. What's your strength? 23. His strength is 20, Mia's strength is 17. I think Mia attacks so often, it's nice to have a little bit more strength for her. You only have 14 strength actually, Oscar. I'm a little surprised. Actually, Tanif is stronger than you. You have 17 strength. Well, maybe Oscar gets a little bit of strength here. Let's see. Anything else? Don't really think so. Strength plus two, great. Uh, anyone else is carrying something you shouldn't be carrying? Let's see, we can also take maybe a lance for you here. Silver lance, yes, please. Killer lance, also all right. Let's see, we have a Lagusco. You can have some pure water. That's good, and let's buy a Vulnery for you, I think. There we go, Torneo. Antitoxin, why not, right? Uh, also Frot and Torneo for now. Okay, sell items. See, there's a lot of vulnerabilities here. We could sell all the coins actually. Just to free up some space in the convoy. Thank you. And armory wise, do you have anything interesting for us here today? You yeah, have a stiletto actually. Okay, I'll buy that. Let's throw it into the convoy here. One is enough, I think. Other than that, it's like not really that great. I'll buy a longbow actually. Still have enough money at least. Uh, I think otherwise we are fine. Let's forge a weapon, but for whom? Let's see, you're good, you're good. You can't wield a weapon, you're good. You could have a weapon, Khalil. Torneo could also profit from one actually. Instead of the silver lands, maybe. Okay, um. Let me just go to Torneo here and slap one in the convoy again. The silver lands or the killer lands? The silver lands, I think. Spear is nice for that ranged thing. Let's forge. Do we forge a lance or a sword? I like lances actually. Which one should we forge? I like the idea of forging a javelin, but I don't know how useful it will be. I think iron is just the most reliable and it's pretty cheap. Bring the attack up to 12, bring hit up to 100. Crit up please, weight down. Want you change the weapon name? Yeah, uh... We can name this the the Tor. This is the Toro lens. Change the color. Yep. Oh, let's go with this one. I think he's he kind of has a like pink or purplish armor there, right? So that's fitting. All right. Thing. Let's just save here. There was a lot of preparation. I'm ready to do some fighting, man. At least I hope so. Are you going to lead a small unit 
out on a survey mission? Yes, that's a plan. However, though we've taken the castle, there are still pockets of Dane resistance. It's possible they may try to mount an attack and retake the place. I want you to be in charge of the watch. That is, of course, not a problem. However, you're taking the princess along. Don't you think it would be safer to take more troops? Even if we split our battalion, we have enough men to handle both tasks. I'm just not used to moving around with such a large group. And for this mission, I'd like to keep the number of people involved as low as possible. It's not that I don't understand how you feel, but we will compromise. You know, for someone from Binion, you're pretty flexible. It speeds things up considerably. To be a soldier, one must be able to quickly adapt to circumstances around him. Well, alright. We'll be back later. Take care. Yeah, he's a cool guy. Can't wait until he steps us in the back. This is the place as you mentioned. Oh, this is the place as you mentioned. Palmeni Temple. Sounds like that excellent Russian like dumpling thing, you know what I mean? Palmeni. I'm always thinking about it when I hear about the temple. I think it's the second or third time now. I hope whatever he was trying to tell me will become clear once we get inside and look around. Oh, I still can't believe Nazir was on Dane's side. I just can't. Ina must be like... I don't know, like his cousin or something. And he let that dragon girl get away, although I'm sure he had reasons for that as well. And I wonder, was it really Nazir? Although besides my family, the only people I showed the medallion to were Titania, Princess Alincia and Nazir. I thought I could trust him, I really did. Why? Why did he do it? Oh, missed. Thinking about the past isn't going to help. Let's take a look at this temple. Yeah, let's murder some men of God. What did you say? The Crimean army is here? They want to investigate the temple, what should I tell them? Crud, this ain't good. I don't know what they're after, but if they find us mercenaries who side with Dane, they'll wipe us out. It is all the will of the goddess. Resign yourself to your fate. Accept it. A bad done. No one's gonna roll over and die. Dying's for sissies. So tell me, how many are there? There appears to be ten or so, including the women. Ha! <laughs> that's good news. It is. If, if that's a lot of them, we can take care of this on our own. It'll be like stealing a baby from the cradle. Right then, here's the plan. Pretend like you want to help him, then lead him inside. And listen good. You best not whisper a word about us being here or else... But I couldn't. What you ask is beyond me. Hurrah! Don't forget. We've got all other priests under our control. Unless you want them to meet the goddess early, do as you're told. Oh dear. Okay, hostage situation maybe? Palmeni Shrine. Hmm. Tasty, tasty Palmeni. I totally didn't punch my microphone. Actually, I punched the pop filter there a little bit, moving my glass of water around. Alright, we'd like to take a look around. Please show us each room. <laughs> very well, this is uh, a very large room. Um, are you alright? Why are you shaking like that? Oh goddess, please forgive me. It's a trap! Ah, you did it! Please forgive me. I thought something like this might happen. I don't know how you could win of us, but showing up in such a small group means you're out of luck. No one of you is getting out of here alive. We've just fought our way through the day in capital, you're not even going to slow us down. Cocky, ain't you? But who said this was gonna be a fair fight? Huh? Wait, what are you doing? Hey, bring out the others! Wow, there's a lot of people, okay. You're fools. You're gonna be our shields. What? Ha! See, you ain't so useless after all. You filthy dogs. Those are innocent people. You can't... Oh, mercy. Please help me. Hey, if you don't want them hurt the robes of yours to turn red, you all attack these scum. If you even think about betraying us, I'll kill every one of you. But you can't. Crimeans, please forgive us. We can't allow our brothers to die. So is it just like 20 healers in the army? 
The scouters will not stand, these priests are being made to fight against their will. We've got to try and save as many of them as possible, let's go. Oh, this is why they asked us about shoving. Because we can probably shove those priests out of the way, right? Very smart game designers. Yeah, you see, the enemies, they're separated in thief, army and priests. Mm -hmm. Now where's that thief? If I had to take a guess, maybe on the right there? There's a mercenary, there's a priest, there's another mercenary. Okay, yeah, the priest, they can't even fight or heal. So they're just really in our way. This one is silence, okay. So most of them can't do anything. Tominami has light. Man, like, please don't attack us. Because I'm gonna kill you. Where's that thief? Oh, there he is. Okay, so you have to go. Um, let's see. Can we position some dudes? Oh, Mordecai, you're here, that's good. Okay, Brom, you go there. Volke, yeah, you're, you're needed here. Let's see if I go here and we go to choose units. I don't have many people we can bring along. I don't know if we need Raisin. I would rather bring Torneo, maybe. Rolf, yeah, you can do some work, I think. Wait, is Khalil in there? No, she's not right here. Latania is also not here. Where's Kieran, actually? Oh, Kieran is in. Ah, is Kieran better than Titania? 17 strength, 17 defense, 19 speed. 17, 13 defense. 20 speed though. Maybe he... Ah, it's like hard to decide when we can't bring that many people along. Well, Tan, if, if I bring your Falcon Knights in, we are gonna have a problem, don't we? I think I'll bring Titania instead of Tanif. You know what I'm saying? If we're gonna have a problem because those Falconites, they're not going to spare the priest, they're going to slaughter each and every one of them. Okay, Oscar, you sit here, I think that's good. Volke, I think you switch with Titania like that. And here, I think that's all right. Okay, let's begin. Let's see. Just an iron blade, a dagger, El Thunder. Don't love the venom bow there. But I'll get rid of that thief first, I think. Actually, I will not even attack the thief. He can't get out of you when I'm standing here. I will attack this guy instead. Please don't make me regret this. Also, quick reminder to drink some water. Okay, that was easy actually. Now that Thief should be able to do anything. Sword dude. Got another sword dude and then... Bow and a long sword. Cannot quite make it here. Can I smite Brom? I cannot, okay. Torneo. Let's rock, man. Um, this guy's an armor slayer, though, okay. Let's rock a little bit less. Mia can make it up. To that guy, at least. Mia's sword should be fine, right? 19 times 2. Maybe I'll go for the killing edge. 50% chance to murder him, like, really good. Oh, goddamn. Mia, why are you always doing me dirty like this? Can't you just crit him on the first hit? Okay, still a good job. Guy with steel axe, short axe. Yeah, it's gonna be very interesting. How far can you guys move in? 
Hmm. Yeah, we also need to get rid of the guys in the front, actually. That's right. No, let's get rid of that guy with the van and axe. Iron lance? Hmm. Don't like that. Iron sword. Okay. This wouldn't be able to kill him, I don't think. What about sending Ike in straight up? An iron sword? That will be enough. Let's do it, man. Nice miss. What a joker. Okay, this is going to be a very interesting mission, I think. Is this guy going to attack us? Yes, Lumina. Lost wielder to use light magic. Ah, okay. But this is how that works, huh? It's one of those weird skill proficiencies instead of a weapon proficiency. Yeah, man, there's a lot of dudes here. <laughs> Can't help but notice, Ike. Maybe I should send Brom in. Let's see what item do we equip? Iron sword? Let's equip the iron lance. Ike, please take a step back. Okay, that's good so far. Kiran, oh, you could make it up to that guy. Natania couldn't. All those guys have swords though, I don't like that. Yeah, you could use your sword, that would get rid of him. Okay. Zap. Very nice, okay. And then you can just write like one more space, like right there. Um, Toroneo. Do those guys have like any hammers or anything? Short axe. Bannon axe, don't like that. This guy's a chess key actually. Okay. Uh, let's equip. Silver blade is not bad actually. Because those guys have axes. Alright. Oscar. Yeah, which direction do I even want you to go, man? It's like we're splitting our troops up big time here. Titania. And those guys are all sword dudes. Let equip. Yeah, let's equip steel lands here. Just wait. Okay, this guy has a really good movement range here. Let's have Ilyana wait here. And Oscar, you have the short spear actually, okay. We'll just send you in here. Against the axe dudes. Maybe I'll send you like in here. Um like down there. Short spear equipped. I think that's alright. And what else? Only you two? Let's just wait on you and I think you can come up a little bit at least. Good job, Mia actually. Oh let's just wait, it's alright. Yeah, I see casting light on Broom here. Okay, nice try. We have to be careful not to equip a ranged weapon on Broom. This could be the death of the priest. Also very nice. Okay, yeah, this guy going on Toroneo here. One damage. 
Don't make me laugh, man. I have to push one of those guys out of the way there. Yeah, I see how it's gonna be. Okay. A lot of bow dudes. Is Brum poisoned or something? Did that guy have a venom ball? I totally didn't pay attention. I just saw like a small red cloud next to Brum there. Ah, you're going for Ike. You bastard. Okay. Give him Kiran. Show him who's boss. Oh yes. I think now he knows. Nice critical animation. We've never seen that one before. I feel like every character has like their special little critical animation. Yeah, it seems like they poison Brom here. You bastards. Um can't even walk anywhere. Longbow venom bow, longbow light. There's multiple approaches we can take here. Could shove that priest to move over here and go in with the man himself. Or we could kill the guy with the longbow. I think I'm actually gonna shove that priest. And then go in with Ike here. Which swords? The durabilities are all getting a little low here. I think that's okay. Very nice. I feel like the regal sword, like we got it from our dad, right? Yes. Was it also an awakening where your sword was upgraded at some point when you didn't exhaust its ability or its durability fully or something like that? I feel like. That also could be the case here. Okay, there's a priest and there's a guy with a venom bow. We need somebody who can shove, and it's only you who can do that actually. A lot of poisonous dudes here. Hmm. Could shoot the thief with the longbow? Oh, I think I want to do that actually. 12 times 2, perfect. Nice, okay. There goes the thief. But that's one thing less to worry about. Could you like walk here? Do you have anything you can throw? Short axe. Will this guy hit me? 55% chance, huh? Okay, let's try here. Oh yes. Oh yes. Perfect. So this guy's poison is not an issue anymore at all. Also epic voice crackle, late in the night, by late in the night I mean it's 8pm. Nice little level up there for him. Now this guy is a long sword, that scares the absolute shit, of, shit out of me to be honest. Um, I did not pay attention to that. Does this guy have anything equipped? He also has a silent staff, okay. We, we can't even touch those guys anyway. Let's just come in here, Oscar. And Volke, yeah, let's get rid of some guys here. Um, yeah, I think we should do it like that, right? Does it make a difference? Maybe Mia actually attacks the guy and Torneo shoves the priest. This guy has a steel axe. This is not enough. This could be enough. 
Let's try the killing edge here. Banking on a crit. Nailed it. Absolutely perfect. Otherwise, I think we wouldn't have had enough damage. We were like lacking like 5 damage there or something. Actually, even like you could come in and shove that guy, right? Yeah. Now <laughs> Toroneo is unleashed. This guy is a short axe. It's making my head shorter here. Nice try, man. Gotten even hit the broad side of a barn, apparently. Toroneo is literally the, like, the broad side of the barn incarnate here. Ilyana. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should send Ilyana here, actually. Ah, but she will get, like, boat to hell and back, if you know what I mean. Could send Titania in. Titania cannot chaff, but she can come in <laughs> swinging, so to say. Let's just equip the hand axe. And then wait. And Ilyana, you can come here. Chaff that guy. Okay, yeah, they're, they're bastards, man. Like, hiding in their hidey holes. This is really interesting. It feels like, you know, I'm shoving those guys around. It's like a puzzle game, a little. Ike is beefy, man. You can take that arrow like a champ. Light doesn't bother me. Please let me through, old man. I wonder if I can talk to him or something. Also, that guy is really annoying. I think this is not a bishop, right? I should be able to just smoke him. Oh, yeah, wow, now this guy. Oh, oh. Okay, you only hit one time though, okay. Perfect. We live. Oh. Yeah, I had a feeling there might be something coming in there. Okay. Can you talk to that guy? Cannot. This is just a soldier. Okie dokie. Uh, let's do the side thing first. These guys didn't even come in and attack. Steel Lance and Short Spear. Should get rid of the Short Spear guy first, I think. Or let's use the Toro Lance. Hmm, doesn't attack twice though. He has 34 HP. Let's try the Killer Lance then. That could potentially be good. No critical. Too bad, man. A real bummer. Mia. Just come in and attack that guy. Killing edge is only 14 times 2. Hmm. Don't really have anything better. Since we can only use swords here. Yeah, you, you see what I mean? Mia always likes critting on the second hit when it doesn't really matter anymore. Okay, that killing edge is broken now and I don't really mind it so much. Um, do we have anything against Lagoos? This guy has a Lagoos Slayer, that's, that's funny. We have a Lagoos Axe actually, okay. This guy is still standing there. Use the Lagoose Axe, that would be 26, that's not nearly enough. 5, 13, and all of this is somehow horrible. What if you come in? 
Platin lands, 19 times 2. Doesn't look bad. Against the feral one. Oh yes. He made it happen, man. Very good. Perfect. Level 10. Oscar's a really good unit, man. Played him like a crutch. Now, this guy only has a Lagoose Slayer. Let's... This guy has a Longsword. I can come in with you, take care of the Longsword guy. Rolf could also maybe come in. Um... Let's stand here. Kieran can get rid of the Lagoose Slayer guy. 21 times 2. That's more than enough. This one looks even better. Let's do it. Show them what our sword can do. Very nice. Maybe it's time for me to start pulling Volke towards this direction. Okay, Kiran, should you stand anywhere else? I mean, you can just stand here, I think that's alright. How far can you move Rolf? Oh, not very far. Let's move Rolf over that, like, to that direction then. Um, yeah, you just come in. Absolutely maul that dude. Mordecai, you can do it. Kill him. Good Mordecai. He's so powerful, man. I wonder whether I can find like a 3D printable Mordecai figurine on like Thingiverse or something. I don't have a 3D printer, but I know a guy who does. I just talked about this on Twitter like two days ago. Like 3D printing seems like a really great hobby to have. Like... I'm thinking about just like merchandise and D&D stuff, you know what I mean? Like, it's so hard to find figurines or maybe you live somewhere like I do where you can't really order a lot of stuff. But this way you could just print them and then maybe even get into like painting miniatures or something. Okay, let's see, here in the middle. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I've never painted a miniature before. But I think like it sounds like it could be fun. Ah, who do we get rid of here? This guy has bolting. Oh, and we even get that bolting. Hmm. A small priest with light. And another priest. And the guy with a venom axe. The guy with a steel axe. This priest needs to be shoved, one way or another. And you cannot do this. So it's either I who shoves him or Brom who shoves him. Ah, how do we do this? Like, will this guy attack Brom then? It's a really difficult decision to make. Okay, you just come in. Do you use the Titan X or do we use the Steel Lance? Steel Lance seems to be alright. Get rid of that longbow guy. Nice, okay. Now he is dealt with. Now. Do I want you to gallop somewhere else? Maybe like here or something? You could even like come here, but I think you just wait here. We could even attack this guy ranged with a spear. Maybe that's actually the wiser decision to make here. 27 times 2. Wow, it looks great, bro. Oh, even with the Luna, I think one spear should be enough then. Yeah, look at that. Nice. Waste not, want not. He knows how to conserve his durability. Very nice. Now we have a little bolting here. 
not in full condition, but who cares, right? And then we shove this guy. Could even smite him, actually. And just smite him here. Okay, now... You have to bide your time a little bit here, Titania. Nice. Very nice. I don't want to hurt this man. I think we might get bonus XP if we don't hurt him or something. Oh, we might not, and we might have to kill him at the end of the mission anyway. Ah, hand axe? No, steel bow. He doesn't look like a bow wielding guy to me. But he misses anyway, so that's nice. Yeah, they really like the arches here, huh? Venom bow. That could be a problem. Nice, another miss. <laughs> All the archers coming in, man. Nice try. Okay, against Mia. Mia gets the attack first, though. Yes! She crit with a normal sword, actually. That's cool. Level up very deservedly so. HP, okay, I mean... If it's only one stat that gets leveled up anyway, then I'd rather... If, uh, then I'd rather be HP, right? Because HP is always useful, just like universally. Rome suffering a little bit here. Feral one, this one is a cat, Lagoose. And I go with a Lagoose bow. Hmm. Can Taroneo get rid of the cat Lagoose in one fell swoop here? Doesn't look like it. What about Mia? Attack with a killing edge. 13 times 2. She does 7 damage to me. She only has a 55 to hit though. Ah, again no crit, huh? And she hit. Difficult situation. At least we got a crit on the second uh, hit there. Otherwise she wouldn't have died at all. Now here. Short spear, venom axe. All of that is not great. What is great, however, is that attack with the spear. Supposedly, at least. Yeah, very nice. He even missed. Okay. Good. Not great, but good. Maybe we should have sent more reinforcements to that side. You have the chess key? Yeah, okay. Start with that one. Sleep. Great. Okay, um... Whom do I send over there? I think maybe... Akiran is a little bit hurt, actually. Let's send him here. And Oscar, you just guard this place here. Alrighty. Um, now this situation, that's great. Wow. Volke, you come in here a little. Shove the guy one more space here. Why not? You can come in here, we have a longbow now. even attack one of those guys but those are not our targets um venom bow steel bow lot of light guys and Sheffer is there 
Okay, somebody has to do something here. Wrong. Murder time. Iron sword, maybe? It's not enough. Yeah, I really need to make another sword for you, don't I? Like a really beefy sword. Luna time, I like it. And a crit. Yep. Okay. He's excellent, man. What a legend. Okay, so that guy is done. So let's get rid of the longbow guy. Steel Lance is fine, I think. Get a little bit of Lance leveling in. Two quick steps to the groin. Okay. Uh, you could even gallop away again, huh? Do we want that? Maybe we do. And Ike. Take the Venom Ball guy, I think. Sword is 20. This one is 17. Crit chance 13. Crit chance 3. Okay, then let's take the Regal Sword and bank on a crit, maybe? I mean, all in all, it's 26%, right? Ah, too bad. But still a level up, okay. Okay, HP and skill. Um, okay guys, for now I'm going to say thank you very much for watching here. I know it's a little sudden, but we are approaching the one hour mark yet again. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Next time, we'll see how this episode plays out. But for now, thank you for your support. I'll see you next time. Have a nice day and bye-bye.